4 or 5 grams per mole for chlorine. So in total, we are dealing with 58.44 grams per mole for sodium chloride. So one mole of sodium chloride has a mass of 58.44 grams, right? We all know that already. All right? Now, I'm going to make a two-molar solution, two-molar concentration. So I need two moles per liter. Ah, but I want a big batch of this stuff. So I want two liters. So therefore, how many moles do I need? I need four moles in two liters of solution to make a two molar solution of sodium chloride. Okay? Ah, what must I do? I know my mass per mole. I'm going to take four moles times 58.44 grams per mole. And I know that, that I need 233.76 grams of sodium chloride in a total of two liters of solution. What would I do to get that? Here's the instrument that chemists would use. This is a two liter volumetric flask looks ordinary, but it's not. There is an etched line here that allows the chemist to accurately and with repeatable precision get exactly two liters, that is 2,000 milliliters of solution in there. Here's a one liter. Here's a 100 milliliter. It would take 10 of these to make this and 20 of these to make this, right? Okay, now, we did this calculation. You have, or I have pre-weighed uh, sodium chloride here, 233.76 grams of it. And you see, I've partially filled with distilled water, the volumetric flask, the two liter volumetric flask. And so, this is gonna be a pretty concentrated solution. Two molar is pretty concentrated. But we're going to add all of that 233.7 grams of sodium chloride to this stock solution you'll sometimes hear it called. How are we doing on time there, uh, Miss Rebecca? Well, I cut it off in the middle, so it'll be two parts, but we're going on eight minutes. All right. Okay, so we, we're trying to add all of this solute. That's what the sodium chloride is in this case. The solvent is good old distilled water. Okay, place all that in there. That is going to be a very concentrated solution. That is a two molar solution. And I'm going to start the dissolving process just by getting a little more interaction with the particle surfaces. But then I'll bring it to volume to that line. Okay. Like so. Don't want to overrun it. Ah, I can't be as, as precise as I want to be with this, so what I might do is quit, go to my squirt bottle, which you guys like to use as water guns, but you know that's not right, and keep coming right on up to that graduated line and read from the bottom of the meniscus. And I would cap that, and I would continue to mix it, and I could get all of that sodium chloride to go into solution. Okay, so I just made a two molar sodium chloride solution. I made a total of two liters of it. But wait, there's more. Suppose the chemist says that's my stock solution. I, I do that in class too, I lose my pen, don't I? Suppose the chemist says, well, that's my stock solution, but today for my lab procedure, I actually only need. Uh, let's say 100 milliliters of 0.4 molar 
sodium chloride solution. Huh, but I can use my stock solution. Check this out. M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. Okay? So I want to know how much of that stock solution did I, do I put into a volumetric flask, a 100 milliliter one, and then bring it to volume with distilled water, and then I have me now a 0.4 molar solution, a more dilute solution. Well, this is my starting point. I know I have two molar stock solution. I don't know how much of it I'm going to use, but I know what I want. I want 0 0.4 molar, and I want a total of 100 milliliters of that 0 0.4 molar solution. And I'll just do the math and lo and behold I need 20 milliliters of the stock solution that is 2 molar. I bring it to a total volume of 100 milliliters with distilled water and ipso facto I've got myself exactly what I need a 0.4 molar sodium chloride solution. We'll leave it there. Check out your InWeb for your assignment, and as well as a handout I'm trying to get prepared and put in there. And let's get this business of solution concentration understood. Take care. See you later.